So today I wanted to show this theorem. Uh, if a group has order of five, it has to be a billion. And for that, we are going to use this Lagrange's theorem that says if H is a subgroup of G, then the order of H has to evenly divide the order of G. And this is a very well-known theorem, so if you haven't seen this, you're going to be see you're gonna see this in your textbook or in your lecture. But yeah, we're gonna be using this theorem. So first, uh, let G be a group of order five. And what we're gonna do is to take an element in G such that X is not the identity element. And what we're gonna do is to create a cyclic group generated by K X. And so basically you're just raising X to the power of something where something is um, can be any integer. And we know that this has to be a subgroup of G. Then uh, this, uh, now we can use Lagrange's theorem because this is a subgroup of G. So by Lagrange's theorem, by Lagrange, the order of this cyclic group is the order of G. And then this is five. That means this has to be either one or five because the order has to be integer. And then you can notice that this can't be one because X is not the identity element. So now we have five here. And that means G and this cyclic group are the same thing. And now it's going to be relatively simple to show that G is a billion. So that's our goal. Is this guy a billion? And for that, uh, we can take two elements in it. And if we can show that AB equals BA, we're done. And since G can be represented as the cyclic group generated by X, A equals X to the M, and then B equals X to the N for some M and in integers. Then AB equals X to the M times X to the N, and n times m, and the m times, uh, sorry, m plus n, and the n plus m. These are obviously equal. So we have x to the n. Oops, it's a little bit messy. Um, so with this argument, we proved that every element in G, uh, the operation is commutative, so G is a billion.